Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be showing you how to properly clean and maintain your 10 millimeter high point 1095 carbine using Aegis Gun Care. Let's get down to the tabletop and we're going to show you how to get this apart and clean it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to show you how to take this apart. My name is Joe. This is Shooting Gallery. The high point 10 millimeter carbine. Let's get into it. All you're gonna need to take this down is the provided tool and a little bit of elbow grease. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is show you how to disassemble this first. There is no magazine in the gun and we've inspected the chamber. There's nothing in the chamber. So we're gonna flip this over to the other side. You're gonna take your takedown tool. First of all, you're gonna unscrew the charging handle. It has a nice little hex key that you can unscrew it. Okay, from there, you're gonna take this and put this to the side. You're gonna take these two little prongs that are on the takedown. You're gonna go over here. To where you see this contraption right here, this holds the takedown pins in. There's two of them. You're gonna pop that over. It might be a little tight, but you can do it. Come on. Sometimes you gotta push the takedown pin on the opposite side. And then it's being a little bit of a asshole <laughs> uh, people get kind of uncomfortable when it comes to taking down the high points they're really not that hard it's just they have some type of hold on one second I'm gonna get something that makes this a whole lot easier if you have a screwdriver you don't need to use the full screw you can get this Wheeler screwdriver pop this through here the bigger part to kind of give you a little bit of leverage and there we go. Pop that one there. You need this tool. Do not throw this tool away, guys. Okay, then same thing. Pop this over here. And now you can take your takedown pins, pop them out. You don't, you can, they come right out. Nothing's gonna happen to them. Put those to the side. So from here, make sure you get that. All right, we're gonna take this little lever right here and lift it up because that allows you to get your front top cover off. Put that to the side. Now, sometimes they're a little bit tight, but that's okay. Okay, that's your dust cover. Put that to the side. Now you're at this configuration. There's this little spacer bar that you can use your takedown lever or to make it a lot easier, use a screwdriver that has no bit, just use the flat part of that and push it forward. You might need a little bit of leverage to get this thing pushed forward if this is your first time taking the gun apart, but take this little U-clip, uh, put that to the side. Now you can lift this receiver out the stock. Alrighty. Now we're just into the barreled action. You can take the stock, put that to the side because you don't need it. You don't need to do anything to it. So, you're going to have this little band. Alright. Push this forward. Alright. Boom. There you go. Now, this is the part everyone always freaks out about. You can take your takedown tool right here, the back side, there's a little kind of like a flathead screwdriver. You want to push this forward. See how you have this larger hole where this stud is? You want to push this bar rearwards so you're able to take the slide off. So. I'm gonna do that. It takes a little bit of force, but it doesn't take that much. 
Don't recommend using this all the time. After you get this done a few times, take a brass hammer with a plastic end and then use again. Just this part of the screwdriver that's not gonna damage anything and just give it a couple taps. There we go. The other side with the, with the plastic side hitting the plastic so you're not damaging anything. There we go. Now, at this point, you got that clicked forward where it's in this position. This is, the, this is the best part you can do. Now, you just push this in. Push that in, and it pops right out. Now, this is where you don't want to lose any parts. Get everything out of the way. Your recoil spring is right here. Place that there. You're gonna get this little, kind of like, what it's what you pushed in kind of contains the slide on the high point put that down now from there you can kind of field trip this I don't recommend taking the front side off just because you don't need to in this instance but this is where we're gonna take the Aegis gun care and we're gonna coat this thing this is kind of dirty 10 the 10 millimeter I was using was a little bit dirty so take this cleaner first spray the feed ramp inside the chamber all around the action, all right? Then, okay, here's the other thing. You can slide out your firing pin to clean that. Do not mess with this dual spring that comes out of the slide. I'll show you where it goes in a second. Okay, now lift this up a bit, hold the barreled action, and you wanna get the slide or the, you know, this is the slide portion, very nice and dirty. Spray all that. All right, so we're gonna let this sit and let it marinate for a minute. Then we're gonna clean, brush everything off using some Aegis stuff. And I'm gonna show you how to clean it and lubricate it. So check that out. All right, from here, this is where your nylon brush comes into play. Take the nylon brush that you get in the cleaning kit that you can get on AegisGunCare.com, has everything you need. So we're gonna take the nylon brush and start scrubbing. Don't go too hard because you don't want to like, you know, mess up any excess springs. Okay, get all in there. You can see all that carbon coming off. This Aegis Gun Care is the best. That's why I use it on all my firearms. Cleans everything all nice. Get right on the feed ramp. And this is probably one of my favorite 10 millimeter carbines I've ever shot. And I've shot a few of them, guys. And this thing is just a, just a fun time to shoot. You can clean these really easy. They're not that hard to take down. People just, you know, they get a little bit intimidated. Um, so from here, we're going to take a microfiber cloth that comes with it. And we're going to clean the action a little bit. Oh, nice and clean. All right, get the feed ramp. Look at all, look at all that. Gross. Microfiber cloths are very inexpensive, guys. Don't worry if they're a little bit dirty. You can get them at Walmart for like probably four bucks for a pack of 25 of them. They're really inexpensive. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna move on to the slide portion in here. Oh. Clean all in there. Get the breech face. The cleaner these guns are, guys, the better they're gonna run. Um, make sure you're using good quality lubricant. They look very robust, but they're extremely simple to clean. Get all in the firing pin channel because that's where a lot of the malfunctions tend to come from. I've seen some guys really jack up these guns and they're like, oh, these things suck. Oh, you probably haven't cleaned it properly. Take the needle. Q-tips, get the front of the breech face. Get all that in here. I got about three, four, about 250 to 300 rounds for this, and this thing is clean. I've noticed some 10 millimeters are very dirty. They shoot very dirty. I don't know if it's just the powder they use or what, but just look at all that. Look at all that carbon that the Aegis Gun Care Cleaner can take care of. that all nice and clean in there ba boom okay then 
get the rest of it off. All right, cool, we got that. Now, <clears throat> your nylon brush is still coated with cleaner. Lightly go over the firing pin, and then you take your microfiber cloth, wipe the carbon off. That's all you gotta do. Now I'll show you what to do with the lubricant. Uh, the recoil spring, you don't really need to do anything about guide rod, it's a plastic guide rod, so no matter how much you clean it, it's still gonna look kinda dirty. Um, now, if you look at the dust cover, really clean, no carbon on there, you're good. All right, so, got that. Now we're gonna handle the barrel. Get some dirty stuff out of the way. I hope you guys are liking these clean lubricate videos. Doing the rifles are kind of difficult, so I appreciate it if you guys do make sure you like these videos. Uh, since this is the pistol caliber kind, I'm gonna use a 45 caliber brush on the 10 millimeter. You can use a 40 cal brush, but 45 will work just fine. But what we're gonna do is do another couple sprays down the barrel. There we go. Remember guys, use code JOJUICE for 10% off your entire order on anything at Aegis Gun Care, and that is t-shirts, hats, cleaning mats, cleaner, lubricant, their new grease that I have, which I'm gonna probably put on my dagger. I'm gonna do a cleaning lubricate video on a dagger after this from Palmetto State Armory. All right, so we got that all nice and clean. We're gonna unscrew the jag for the patches. I'm gonna use this pull-through cord that comes in the kit. Just screw that on there. Slide it down the barrel. Okay, there we go, slide it down. Once it comes through, take your T-handle that the kit comes with, because that gives you a little bit more leverage on pulling. Screw it on. All right, now we're gonna pull this through. Ah, oh, like a glove, like a glove. We're gonna do it one more time, just to make sure you get all that excess out. Ten millimeter guys can be kind of dirty. That's why I'm a little bit uh, thorough when it comes to the cleaning of the bore and the action. All right, we're gonna pull this through one more time. There we go, nice and clean. All right, so. Remember, if you want to clean your guns, please consider picking up a cleaning mat from Aegis Gun Care. Your significant others will thank you for not cleaning it on the kitchen table. So we're gonna unscrew the bore brush and then I'm gonna get some patches. Usually you only need one or two. You don't have to go crazy with patches. Again, you can get like a pack of 500 for like five bucks on Amazon. Or Aegis Gun Care, they, Aegis sells all your cleaning supplies. All your equipment, your patches, your Q-tips, your cleaner, you name it, they sell it. So we're gonna unscrew this, throw this through the bore, make sure it's nice and clean. All right, pull that through. All right, look at how dirty that is. Look at that. Pull through one more time, and then we're gonna swap it out and change it again. You don't really need the uh, T-handle for this. All right, there we go. So now that we have cleaned everything, uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lubricate it. This is the important part. So we're gonna start with the slide, or you know, yeah, we're gonna call this the slide. We're gonna use the Joe Juice and or the Aegis Gun Care Lubricant, the best stuff you could ever use in your firearm. So this has the needle applicator. Most of these don't come with it. It's like a $4 add-on, but it's totally worth it. And if you use Joe Joe Juice, save 10%. All right, so we're gonna slide it in here. Fire and pin channel, not that much. Just a couple quick pass-throughs. Put it on the top right here. All right, now we're gonna take a patch for one part of it to just spread it around and get the application everywhere. All right, got that, get on the top. Now we're gonna use one of the Q-tips that they sell, which is a godsend. Make 
sure that's all nice and lubricated in there. But boom, but boom. All right, cool. That's all set. Now, flip it around. We're going to focus on the main part of the action now. So, I always do the feed ramp. I take a patch and move it all around. We are going to lubricate the bore in a second, guys. So just hang on. Now, put a couple drops where the safety is to make it easier to actually use the safety. There's going to be a spring there you get. Right in here, all in here. There you go. All right, cool. So now, take one more patch, like we did in the last one. Lubricate it. Then you're going to take the pull through cord with the jag still on it. Push that through. Pop that into the board. And we're going to lubricate the board. Some people say don't lubricate the bore, but this is how I was taught, guys. So if this helps you, go ahead. Everyone cleans guns a different way, and it doesn't mean you're wrong. So for those guys in the comments that say you're doing too much of this, you're doing too much of that, that's how I was taught. So, you know, again, use this for what you will. Pull the cord, get the bore nice and lubricated. And there you go see a little bit of more excess carbon the lubricant brought up and that's all you really need to do all right you can see here the feed ramp is nice and shiny which you want it's gonna help with the feeding from the magazine you don't have to clean the magazine on this guys so with that bore brush or the patch they had the lubricant on here this is what you're gonna do take your firing pin just kind of wipe it around there all right there you go the springs that they go into, this is the only time, one well, of the only times I'm going to say worry about the springs. Because this is where the firing pin rolls into. There you go. This little section that retains the firing pin and the springs. Do that. And then take a recoil spring. Just give it a nice coating with that patch that's already oiled from the bore. All right. Cool. Now, one more thing. Your dust cover. The action slides within here. So what I recommend, do a nice thin coat to the top of the dust cover, take a patch and just wipe in here to coat it and help the action when it's going back and forth during the firing sequence. And that's all you need to do with it. So we're gonna put that to the side and now we're gonna get back into reassembly of the High Point 1095 carbine. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna worry about the stuff that we took out of the slide first. Lift it up, you can do this with one hand. Take your firing pin, put it in this back portion right here. Slide it on in. You can use your takedown lever to kind of push it forward. Okay, there you go. Take your dual recoil springs, or firing pin springs, I mean. Slide that back in. All right, cool. Then take your firing pin retaining plug. Hopefully that's gonna focus in in a second. All right, come on, let that focus. All right, cool. This part right here, you want lifted up in this configuration upside down where this plug is facing those two springs so it retains it. Slide that in here. All right, cool. Now what we're gonna do don't forget to take your recoil spring, slide that in to the front right here. You can see a little spot for it. Now we're gonna slide this upside down and put the slide back on. And it's gonna get the recoil spring. Be very careful with this, guys. Okay, get that back into play. Okay, make sure that works. All right, good. Now, make sure that this little plate that we had to push forward is still pushed forward because we need to get it back. There we go, cool. Now, push this, push the slide down so this little nub right here pops up into that retaining thing. Now, we're gonna push this back. Okay, get it up to there. 
that now since you've lubricated it, it's gonna be a little bit easier to push back. Take your takedown tool and pop it back. Sometimes you might not need this flat part of a screwdriver to push it back. After a couple times of cleaning it, you're not gonna need to do it that much because it's gonna be easier to kind of move back and forth. You just wanna make sure it gets retained. All right, so that's retained. It's all the way back to the receiver so you can move that perfectly. Now, take this rubber grommet that we flipped off, pull it back. Okay, that is how everything's gonna, how, that's how everything's gonna stay contained in here. So the slide isn't just gonna move sliding forward. Now from here, we're gonna take the stock that you're gonna put to the side. And we're gonna slide this back on in. Okay, from there, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. I had to bump the camera out just a minute. So we're gonna slide it from here, pop it in. All right, press down, it's gonna click in. First thing to do, take that U-clip that was on the bottom of the stock and push this back in. Make sure it retains the receiver. And from there, again, if you have to use a flat, you can use a plastic dowel or again, I use the flat, the very flat part of the screwdriver with no tip on it just to push it. It's not gonna scratch anything up, guys. Okay, there you go, get that into place. Now, the receiver is retained within the stock. So what we're gonna do now, take the dust cover, there is a little bit of metal or sheet metal that's kind of flipped up. You wanna go in at an angle, at like a 45 degree angle for this to retain the dust cover on the stock. Kind of go in like this. Okay, there we go, slide that on in. Take your front rail cover, slide that on, like so. Take the lever that you used, pop that down. All right, cool. Now, from here, you take your takedown pins and you put them back in. Okay, now, this is where you might need this screwdriver again, but it all depends. So you can push the takedown levers, there's two retaining springs in the back, go to these little clips right here, these clips right here, you're gonna move them to your left side if you're looking at the rifle. Okay, pop that back in, cool, retains it. And go to the rear one. There we go, pop that, retains it, cool. Now you got this pretty much all set, now you just gotta put the charging handle back into the hole. Put that back in, take your takedown lever again with this front hex key. Hand, hand screw it in first just to make it so much easier. Okay, and get that nice, you don't have to go like, you know, lock tight grip tight on it but just get it nice and snug just there you go a couple of good duggas then as always it works in a safe direction make sure there's nothing in the gun there you go it works there we go now as always take that needle applicator Put a couple drops of lubricant in onto the sliding part of the slide and the action. Move that back and forth, and you are all set. Guys, that is how you properly clean and maintain your High Point 1095 carbine. I hope you like these tabletop reviews. They are kind of tough to do on rifles, but if this helps you, please do me a favor and comment below. Uh, I'm gonna try and make as many of these as I can. Uh, also, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I try and make videos like this every week. And if these videos help you, again, make sure you give this a like to help support this channel even more. Become a channel member, $2.99 a month to get early access content and uh, direct access to me. Shooting this podcast is going live every Wednesday on Rumble. And uh, big thanks to my friends at High Point for sending the 1095 carbine in for review. I had to clean this because we are sending this off to Liberty Bell Firearms, one of the sponsors of the Shooting Woods podcast. Make sure you use code JOJUICE. 20% off your entire Cerakote or laser stippling services. So we're going to get a nice Cerakote 
job on the 1095 carbine in 10 millimeter, which is God's caliber. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay shooting. Peace.